Hi, in this video we're going to look at the machine parts tutorial which is part of level 3 linear programming. In this tutorial we're looking at a company, Ace Machine Company, which is making rods and pillars and it wants to maximise its profits. We'll do the normal thing of modelling the problem, finding the feasible region and finding the optimum solution. And as always there's an achieve part to the problem where we'll get an obvious fixed answer and then there's an excellent part to the problem. So here's the task. Um, we can make a profit of $300 for each rod and um, $600 for each pillar and we'll use that to make our objective function. We can um, sell at most 60 rods and 70 pillars. That will give us a maximum constraint and then we have times for drilling, grinding and polishing which will give us um, constraints for time in each of those things there. And then the last bullet point here is to do with the excellence part where we change the amount of time where we can have an extra five hours of drilling and an extra five hours of grinding. So here we've modelled the problem. The first thing I've done is define the variables. So x is the number of rods and y is the number of pillars. And then we've set out our constraints. So the first constraint was to do with the maximums. And so that gave us that x had to be less than or equal to 60, y had to be less than or equal to 70. Then we had the drilling hours. So I've got x plus 3y is less than or equal to 210. You might have felt that it was 0.5x plus 1.5y um, was less than or equal to 105. All I've done is double those values to give me easier um, numbers to deal with. Then we've got the grinding hours, x plus y is less than or equal to 90, because we had a maximum of 90 hours there, and polishing hours of 2x plus y is less than or equal to 140. Then we've got the objective function, and if you remember we made $300 profit for each rod and $600 for each pillar, so that gives us 600x, sorry, 300x plus 600y. Now do bear in mind that could be simplified down to x plus 2y, but um, when we get to the excellence part of this problem, we are actually interested in the amount of profit they make, not just in the number of rods and number of pillars that they make. So it makes sense really not to simplify it down. So here we've got our feasible region. I'm not going to explain how to do that. There is an earlier video on um, drawing the feasible region. Um, but here we are, we've got the vertices A, B, C and D. We could also do the one that is um, crossing the x-axis and we could do the origin as well. But they're obviously not going to be maximums. And I've worked out the coordinates of A, B, um, C and D. Um, a is kind of obvious. Um, and D, and B and C we can find by solving pairs of simultaneous equations for where the lines intersect with each other. OK, so now we use those um, values at the um, vertices of our region to find the various values of the objective function. And I've worked those out for you and you can see that the highest value is at B and we get that by doing 300 times 30, the X value, plus 600 times 60, the Y value, and we get 4, 000, sorry, 45,000. So that's obviously the optimum solution. We've got to give our answer in terms um, of the context of the question. So we say if the company wishes to make a maximum profit, they should make 30 rods and 60 pillars. Now that's enough in terms of the way the question is worded, but it doesn't do any harm to say that this would make $45,000 profit. Um, that will actually be helpful in the excellence part of the problem. So now we have our new model. Um, we have a new model because we can increase the number of drilling hours and the number of grinding hours. So you can notice that the constant side of the drilling hours has actually gone up by 10. But if you remember, we doubled um, our equation from a half x plus one and a half y to x plus three y. So we've actually got to go up by 10 and not five. And the grinding hours goes up by a straight five. Everything else stays the same. So here is our new and um, feasible region. 
Um, and in this case, I actually have made a slight error because there is actually another point at um, 1070, but it actually doesn't come into play. So I've not I've made a change there. But we can see that B has the coordinates 32.5 and 62.5. Um, A hasn't changed, D hasn't changed, but C's got the coordinates 45.50. Okay, so now we've got to the optimum solution for our excellence part of the problem, and you can see the highest value comes at B. But this causes a problem because we can't make 0.5 of a rod or 0.5 of a pillar. So, um, in this case, what we do, we need to do is to look at the unit square that goes around um, the 0.32.5, 62.5. The easiest thing is to do the bottom left hand corner first just by truncating each of those numbers. So instead of 32.5, just 32, and instead of 62.5, 62, and then we can find each of the vertices by adding on 1 to either the x or the y. Then, when we've done that, we check each of those um, points to see whether they're valid. So, the first one I'm going to try is the 33, 63, and that doesn't satisfy all of the constraints. So the next one I try is the 3262, and I find that that doesn't satisfy any of the constraints. And then the next one I would try is 3262. You could do these in any order. And that does satisfy the constraints. And that's obviously going to be better than 3262, um, because obviously I'm making one more rod. So that gives me my optimum solution. And that gives a p-value of 47,100. Now bear in mind that requires an extra four and a half hours drilling and an extra um, five hours grinding. And so we need to take off those costs. So that gives us 45,990. That was better than the 45,000 we had originally made originally, so it does make um, sense to make that change. Now this is not the best way, or it's not the a perfect way of finding the optimum solution. What we've done there would be good enough to get excellence, but it should be noted that if you actually do 3163, that actually produces a better solution than the one that we've um, already made. You wouldn't necessarily, well, you wouldn't be expected to get that because, as I say, it's not a very good system. Um, so um, you would be fine with either of those answers. I hope you found this helpful. I have included a link to all the slides in the description below. Stay in Winfield with Winfield.